I think you're amazing. You are too, Henry. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, uh, Perry, you are awesome. <laughs> thank you, and I appreciate you what you're doing too, buddy. Well, thank you. Because if you allow the world to define you, if you allow friends to define you, if you allow your spouse to define you or anybody to define you outside of how God sees you, that does open the door to rejection. God bless you. I, and I hope y'all have an amazing day. Thank you, Brother Thank Henry. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, too. Thank you for having me. Welcome to the Brother Henry and You Show. I am your host, Henry Harris. And as always, I am so blessed and honored to have you to take this opportunity to watch the show today. My name is Henry Harris, and I'm so uh, blessed to have you with me today. As we talk about a very sensitive subject, it's something that um, many of us have probably went through, something that many of us have probably encountered. It's probably something that many of us are still processing today. And that is, is it okay to call off an engagement? Is it okay to break it off? You get engaged to someone and all of a sudden, for one reason or another, you change your mind or you're like, you know what, this is not for me. We all have our reasons as to why we were engaged with someone and chose to call it off or break it off with that person. So that's what I would like to elaborate on today and talk to you today about it. So I'm excited to address this subject today because I know it is something that many of us around the world, not just in the United States, have encountered, and that is calling off an engagement. So let's just be very blunt and let's be honest. The very thought, if you really think about it logically and realistically, the very thought of breaking off an engagement or calling off an engagement is hurtful. We don't minimize that. <clears throat> we don't sweep it under the rug. We don't pretend like it don't exist. It is hurtful. It is painful. The idea of knowing that I am engaged to this person and now this person wants to call it off with me. But even though that's hurtful, what is even more hurtful is going into a relationship, going into that engagement, knowing that you are not really ready for that engagement. So yes, it may be hurtful that your partner or your spouse comes to you and say, you know what, uh, I know we're engaged, but I don't think it's going to work out. I'm not ready for marriage. I thought I was ready, but I'm not. I had an instance uh, a while back. Uh, of someone who had an interest in me and all of a sudden the subject of marriage came up and the subject of engagement came up and a beautiful house on the hill and a car and all all these wonderful things but I had only known this individual for a small amount of time then I started giving it thought when this individual asked me Henry will you marry me you know and it may have been in jest I don't know but I took it serious and I said yes then I gave it thought. I said, I need to let this individual know that my mind said yes, but my heart was saying no. Woo! Now that's powerful right there. Did you hear what I just said? Sometimes our mind says yes. Our mind says, I'm ready for that engagement. I'm ready for that marriage. But our hearts says no, you're not really ready for it as you think you are. So if what if I would have went into that with that individual? I would have still ended up hurt and I would have ended up in a situation that I would have later on regret. Why? Because I really wasn't ready for it as I thought I was. Now, of course, uh, by being honest with this individual and telling her, hey, it's not for me. I'm not ready for that right now in my life. It caused some pain. It caused some hurt. But what would have been much more hurtful was going into that engagement or into that marriage. That would have been much hurtful because I would have been putting on a, what, a facade or a front. Oh, I'm happy about this. I can't wait to do it. And the reality of it is I wasn't ready. Many of you are just like that today. You're going into marriages. You're going into engagements. And you know you're not ready. Your mind is saying yes, but your heart is saying no. 
So while it's easy to get swept up in the moment of a proposal and respond with a resounding yes, is that what we like to hear when someone asks us if they can marry us? We, we want to hear that resounding yes. And if you're having major doubts after careful consideration, then it is 100% okay to call off an engagement. If you're having the slightest doubt in your mind about this person, I would even suggest you to communicate that with the person that you're with. But if you're having the slightest doubt, you need to call off that engagement. So have you ever considered getting engaged? For one reason or another, uh, have you canceled it? Uh, there are those who may see it as a bad thing. It's a horrible thing. It's devastating to call off an engagement because think about it. Think, because think about it. The excitement is in the air. You have went and purchased the ring. You've hired a photographer to take pictures of that very defining and special moment. When it happens, you told your friends, your coworkers, your dog, your cat, <laughs> you told everyone about the potentiality of you getting engaged only for your partner to tell you, I am not ready. Whew, that is quite devastating. You put in all that work and all of a sudden they say, I am not ready. So when you are told this by the person that you're with, that they're not ready for that next phase or that next step in their life, and they want to call it off with you, what is your reaction to that? How do you respond to that emotionally? Because what emotions, what emotions comes with being told that? And if you want to sit there and think that there won't be no emotions involved, you're in for a treat. Because there will be some emotions involved as it relates to this. There are emotions and some people are devastated. They are sad. They feel some type of way. While you may be sad and experiencing all these different emotions because your partner told you they're not ready for marriage or they want to call off the engagement with you, is it safe to ask, why did this person call off this engagement with me? And as we know, that could be a variety of things that only you and God knows. So there are many reasons why people decide to call it off. But I believe the main two reasons are these. And if you would, write this in the comment section. Here are the main two reasons I believe many people call off an engagement. Number one, they feel pressured to get married. How many of you out there today got married because Grandma Nim got married? Or Pooh Nanny got married? Or your cousins or your your bestie got married, so it's in the air. It's the thing. It's what everybody's doing, so let me go do it. I want you to find yourself in divorce court. Don't get married because somebody pressured you to, especially in the religious community. We are very um, famous for pushing marriage on people. Get married right away. Get married. Get married. And these people are not ready for marriage. They're not ready mentally, emotionally, spiritually, psychologically. They're not even ready for marriage, but we feel like we got to pressure people into marriage. So number one, they're pressured. They feel pressured to get married. Number two, there is uncertainty about the relationship. There is some uncertainty. There are some things that they're not certain about, some things they're not sure about. Do not get engaged. Do not get married if that's how you feel. Because if you feel that way now, you're still going to feel that way when you get married, a ring is not going to change that. How good they are in bed is not going to change that. How much money he has or she has is not going to change that. Your economic status is not going to change that. Nothing will change that. You have the power to change it. Don't feel pressure. And if you feel uncertain about something, you need to address that with them if you feel they are a safe space to address it with. Because sometimes people are not ready for the truth. Sometimes people may not be ready for your honesty. So if you want to call off the engagement, please know today that is perfectly fine because I've done it in the past. You owe it to yourself and to the person that you're with to just be honest instead of carrying them along. 
leaving them under the impression that you are ready for something when in reality or internally you're really not. So those that are watching right now, you tell me, why did you call off your engagement? If you feel so inclined or feel comfortable to, put it in the comment section. Maybe you were cheated on. Maybe you saw a change in their behavior. Maybe you seen what I would like to call, what many of us are familiar with, maybe you saw some red flags. Maybe you saw some abusive patterns that you're familiar with in the past, some things you've seen in the past. Maybe you both weren't on the same page in the area of your relationship. Maybe there were some communication issues. Please share in the comment section why you made the decision to call off your engagement. In my opinion, if it doesn't feel right, don't do it. It has to feel right. And I'm not saying, oh, you got to look for the perfect person. I've always said, I don't want the perfect girl. I just want someone that's perfect for me. Can I say it again? I don't want the perfect girl, and you don't need the perfect man. If you're a girl watching me, desiring a man, you need someone that's perfect for you. But at the same time, there should be more good coming out of that engagement or that relationship than bad. If there's more bad, I'll leave that up to your judgment. So it's the kind and brave thing. It's, it's a kind it's the kind and brave thing to do is to call it off. Many may claim that it is unnatural to get uh, uh, engaged and then call it off or break it off. But I want you to know it's, it's not unnatural. It's natural. People do it. And it's, it's absolutely okay. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. So, so also don't allow anyone to come to you to try to alter or change your mind about the decision that you made. People need to learn how to respect your decision. You will have people come to you and be like, but, but y'all was such a beautiful couple and y'all look like y'all was so happy. Y'all look like y'all was on top of the world. That's your perception of what you see on the outside. But in reality, you don't see what's going on in the relationship. You don't see what's going on on the inside. So it's easy for you to see but they don't know the full story. No one really knows the full story. No one really knows what really goes on in some of these relationships until they are exposed to the public or to a friend or to a coworker or somebody that you know. You cannot end an engagement and expect your partner to say, okay, praise the Lord. Thank you for telling me. Unless they are, unless they are an emotionalist person and many of us are not emotionalist because emotions are part of you even though those who may deny that they're not they don't have emotions you have emotions you have emotions ending an engagement is a daunting task it is a and it is one that is highly emotional that's why i told you earlier if you tell your partner this you know i'm not saying they're gonna start throwing pants and cussing you out and stuff but there's gonna be some heavy emotions involved it is perfectly fine to say, this is not for me. How many people today, and this is, this is serious what I'm about to say, how many people today don't make those declarations? How many people today that don't say, how many people today uh, get married or get engaged and they start making regrets? Or they start asking themselves, what was I thinking? Why did I do this? Many of us have done that. We've gotten engaged. We've gotten married. When you had the opportunity before you got married, you saw the signs. You saw the red flags. You saw the things you didn't like. But you did it anyway. Now you're regretting it. Don't ignore your intuition. We all have it. It's right here in our hearts. Don't ignore your intuition. Don't just go by what your mind says. Remember the story I gave you earlier? My mind said yes, but my heart said no. You need to follow your heart. There's no reason whatsoever to stay in a, a miserable relationship because you are afraid of letting someone down. Don't spend a bunch of money on a wedding that you don't want to have. You need to listen to your heart and listen to it very closely. 
you may be feeling like, well, if I make this choice, I will be letting him, him or her down. But in reality, you're letting yourself down by staying in spaces and places that's no longer conducive for you. You're letting yourself down. So listen to this. You cannot be worried about how they're going to react. They're going to have their moment. They're going to be upset. Do this for you. Love them enough to let them go. That's all you can do. Sit back. Reevaluate your life. Look at your life. Reevaluate it. Ask yourself, am I really ready for this next phase of my life? Am I really ready for this engagement? Am I really ready for marriage? And if you're not, at the time where you're comfortable, that's when you can go to your partner and tell them, hey, I'm not ready. So if you're going to get engaged or stay in it, please do it for the right reasons. Some people get engaged for the wrong reasons. If somewhere in the back of your mind you feel like you're in a relationship for the wrong reasons, pay attention to the signs today. For example, maybe you're in a relationship for financial reasons. And you're terrified of calling it off. Why? Because you have some benefits to being engaged to this person or married to this person. Why? For financial reasons. Take a deep breath. Like I said earlier, reevaluate. Evaluate that relationship. Ask yourself, is this something I really want? Life is hard enough. And you know this. Life is hard enough. But what is much more harder is when you... Uh, attach yourself to someone legally in a marriage or an engagement who will make it much harder for you and you don't deserve that. You want to be with someone that's going to be you know, happy for you, that's going to support you, that's going to be your ride or die buddy. There's no specific amount of time where you have to call it off. Oh, Monday I'm going to sit them down and tell them. You do it whenever if you feel like it's right for you. And as I said, there will be emotions involved, but by you doing this, you need to realize it's the most honorable thing that you can do. And while you may be sad that you have to break the bad news, at the end of the day, you're doing it for your own well-being and your own health and your own peace. God bless you. We'll see you next week. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, www.youtube.com backslash Henry Harris 100. Follow us on Facebook, The Brother Henry and You Show. Like our page. We'll see you next week. <laughs> well, uh, Perry, you are awesome. <laughs> thank you, brother. Thank uh, you, and I appreciate you what you're doing too, buddy. Well, thank you. Because if you allow the world to define you, if you allow friends to define you, if you allow your spouse to define you or anybody to define you outside of how God sees you, that does open the door to rejection. God bless you. I, I hope y'all have an amazing day. Thank you, Brother Henry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me.